Hey guys, welcome back. Um, in today's video, uh, I want to uh, share something with you guys. Uh, this isn't going to be a very long video, uh, it's just going to be a short little video. Um, but I went to uh, my local uh, cr uh, fabric store, uh, which is our, our Hobby Lobby, that's the only one we have in our uh, area. And they had a 99 cent sale on uh, Simplicity uh, Patterns. I was like, what? Like, I didn't even know. I don't I don't keep up with the sale papers. I guess I need to start keeping up with that because I didn't know. Like, I went in to the store and I was just walking around because, you know, it's like my third home. <laughs> so, I, you know, I just walk around. I like looking, looking at the, uh, the fabrics and everything. And um, I just happened to see the sign that said 99 cent. I was like, what? So... Okay, so I got all of these for 99 cents. And some of these are like really expensive. Um, but I'll go through and I'll show you guys what I got. Um, now some of these are going to be future, um, like way down the road kind of future um, projects that I want to work on. Um, some of these are ideas that I kind of want to do now um, or... Um, I have ideas for cosplays, I have ideas for just, just different things, and I thought, well, they're not even going it, so I, I really just wanted to hop on that, and I wanted to get them instead of later on having to buy them for the price that they, they was. Um, so, like, if you guys have Hobby Lobby or Joann's or just whatever, I, I advise you to just keep a check on their weekly ads, especially for, like, Friday and Saturday. Um, because like this was like a really good deal. So like if you guys are looking for patterns or ideas or just whatever, I just advise you guys to keep check on it. Let's see if I can close my window right quick. That way you guys can see it. Okay. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Alright. So this first one is going to be a 1950s vintage dress. Um, which is just something that... I do want to make um, in the future uh, just to try my hand at it to see if I can make it because these dresses are pretty expensive especially if you buy them because they're vintage they're pretty expensive um, let's see okay so this next one is a renaissance collection so there's three different patterns in this one which I'm really excited about and I do plan on going to a renaissance festival at some point like I planned on doing it last year but well with everything going on, just didn't get around to it, but I do want to go to one. It's on my list to do as soon as everything opens back up and we can we can go back. Um, okay, so this one I'm kind of excited about. Um, so this is another, um, I guess you could say like Victorian, perhaps vintage um, kind of kind of pattern, but I had an idea for this one. Um, and actually my, my, uh, boyfriend actually come up with this idea and I hate myself for not coming up with it first. Um, but he said, uh, take this pattern and do a Sherlock Holmes, um, kind of thing with it. And I was like, that is a good idea. I hate myself for not coming up with that. Uh, so that's what I want to do with this pattern. I want to try to make me like a vintage Sherlock Holmes kind of dress. Um, probably for like a convention, I would say, um, but yeah, but I'm really excited about this one. Uh, let's see, next. Okay, so I have a corset. I think this has got four, this has got four different corsets in it. Um, just because I just want to see, uh, like how perhaps to construct one. Um, but this had four different types in it. Um, I think it's like small, medium, large, I think. Um, is what it is. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to see, um, you know, just what it took, because I've never made a corset, so it's something that I would like to try to make. So I got this. Um, so I got a Regency uh, style dress. Uh, I actually have a uh, McCall's pattern that I'm working on right now. Um, I'm not completely done with it, um, but uh, I got this one to see perhaps if it was a bit more um, easily explained than the McCall's pattern. And I I'm going to open it up and see. I haven't opened it up to, uh, to read it yet. Um, but I was hoping that perhaps it would explain it just a little bit better than the McCall's because some stuff just 
wasn't clear um, on it and I mean of course I mean I'm still a beginner so some stuff doesn't exactly make sense to me so you know I have to like go to the book and open it up but anyway I got this one um, just to um, open it up and just kind of see uh, maybe kind of help me on the project that I'm working right now because I'm currently trying to make a Regency dress right now um, so I just thought it might help me so yeah so I got this one um, Okay, so this one actually, um, it's not vintage, um, but I do like this style of pants. Um, I just like the big kind of, I guess, boho uh, kind of pants. Um, so I got this one just because it had like the, uh, just the big pants and it's also got like the wrap dress in it as well. So I got it. I thought, well, why not? You know, um, I also like the different style dresses and you can also make the, uh, the pants um, that's like a dress but not. <laughs> So, so yeah, so I got that one. So yeah, so I got this one. And it has four different patterns in it. And I wish I had the names for all those dresses. Um, I don't, I apologize. But when I go to make them, I will have the, the correct information for them. But I thought they were really cute. And I thought that um, some of the stuff on the back, because there is like four different dresses in there that I perhaps could take from one of them and do something with it. So I got that one to put up. Um, then I got a 1930s vintage uh, dress, which I'm excited. This is probably something that I'll probably make in the, the near future. Okay, so the next one uh, is another Renaissance. Um, then I got this one. I thought it was very pretty, very elegant. Um, it's just a simplicity costume. So I thought this was very, um, very, very pretty. Um, so I thought down the road, perhaps when I get a bit better, um, I can make something like this. Um, I actually thought about taking, um, this part, um, which is like her, I guess her vest or little, um, corset kind of jacket. And I thought about making it to go with my Victorian, uh, dress that I have because I still have not made a, a vest for it, which I have to. So I thought about trying that and seeing how that would look over top of it with the white shirt. So, yeah, so I got that one. And, uh, oh, okay, so this is not, like, vintage or anything, but I got this. I thought it was cute, and I thought, you know, people love stuffed animals, especially children. And sometimes at work, I have people ask me if I can make things, sometimes for children, and I don't have, you know, patterns or anything for kids. So I just kind of thought, well, that might be cute, you know, birthdays or just, you know, whatever. Uh, and don't think that I won't make myself one, because I will, because I love stuffed animals. <laughs> um, okay, so this one, which I thought was really beautiful, um, completely, not, like, I had never made anything like this uh, before, but I thought, you know, down the road, um, perhaps as I get better and I get more confident, I thought perhaps I would try this. I thought it was a very beautiful dress, so, like I said, this would be like a convention or a... Uh, I could perhaps do a renaissance festival with it, maybe, uh, something along the lines of that, um, but this would definitely be, this wouldn't be like an everyday thing that I could wear, which sucks because I would love to, but, and, okay, last one, um, okay, so I thought this is a cute idea, so they had a vintage 1940s, uh, like, Snow White, I think it's 40s, well, I didn't really specify, but 1930s, 40s, kind of style dress, and I thought this was so adorable. And I thought, well, even even if you didn't want to do, like, the, the snow white, like, the, the yellow and the blue, like, even if you didn't want to do that, you could still use this pattern to make a very, very pretty dress. And it even comes with the hat, so it, it tells you how to make the hat as well. So I thought that was so cute. So this is definitely something that um, I have a couple ideas for. So, uh, so yes, you guys uh, stay tuned for that. Um, I'm not going to get to all these, like, right away, but these are ideas that I have. And I just wanted to share it with you guys because they was like 99 cents. Like all together, um, I gave $13 for all of these and I got, I think I got like 13 or 14 of them and I gave like $13 for them. And some of these was like really expensive. I mean, some of these was like 17, 18, uh, I think, I think two of them was like $22. So, I mean, even when they have, like, their 30% off sale, they're still, like, between $7 to $13. So, like, I got all those for just $13. So, I thought that was a good deal. And I thought that, you know, I had a couple ideas that I wanted to make. And it would also help me practice with my sewing skills. And I can try to get a bit better and a little more confident 
at what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, so that was all my patterns that I got, and uh, I just want to share that with you guys, and you guys just stay tuned and just kind of look for, um, you know, some sewing videos every now and then. I know I'm not very good at them, I'm still trying to get better at them, um, but I just, something that I like, and I just wanted to share them with you guys, so... Um, so yeah, so I'm currently working on my Regency dress, and you guys will probably see this video before that one because I'm not completely done with that one. Um, but just stay on the lookout for that one, so when I get done with it, um, I am gonna maybe break that video up and do a couple different videos with that. I haven't really decided yet, but you guys just stay tuned for that. So yeah, so I thank you guys for watching, and you guys just keep a check. Um, you know, if you're if you're into sewing and you, you really love it, just keep a check at your fabric store, and uh, if I happen to catch it myself, I will try to let you guys know. Um, but like I said, like that one just completely surprised. Um, but I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!